I am so excited to bring you this video. Okay, so I'm going to be opening, playing around with, and reviewing the Royal Trends Happy Places. This is the Royal Castle. Uh, it comes with an exclusive Gemma Stone, uh, Little Shoppy, and Royal Peckin accessories. It does show on the front here. It shows, um, we've, we've already reviewed her before. We've, we've reviewed here, her. Uh, she's Gemma Storm right here. We've already reviewed her and her set and her. We haven't seen these two yet. So, um, there is a glitter flip down Mara, so that should be interesting. And we've already reviewed her as well. So, what I'm really mostly excited about is, well, opening this of course. But I can't wait to get all of the sets set up in this. I don't know if I'm going to do it in this video or if I'm going to do a separate video of me setting everything up. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at this um, as a whole right now. Happiness is partying with friends in the royal castle. Glitter mirror on the wall. Who is the sparkling... Who, who is that sparkling on the dance floor? It's Gemma Stone, of course. Every little shoppy princess knows that Gemma Stone hosts the best castle parties in the kingdom and always shines in her elegant ball gown. She makes sure to be a glittering night for all. She makes sure it will be a glittering night for all. Sorry. So let's look at the back here. We have a spinning wardrobe. Ooh, guys! So, oh, I, I don't know if it comes with extra skirts. Or what? But I think that this just might be somewhere where we can store our skirts so that our our shoppies have a little bit more posability. So, uh, yeah. So we have uh, a spinning wardrobe that fits up to six dresses. Uh, hook on spinning chandelier that creates party time. That's cool. I think, I wonder if these two are, are um, together, I wonder. Anyhow. Uh, this says easy pop on ball gown, uh, from daytime dress to glittering princess. So this is our exclusive gem of stone. Display your little shoppy on the gem podium, podium right there. Uh, I guess, uh, oh, this all must be one piece. I bet. I bet this all spins together. The top, the wardrobe and the chandelier, but we'll see. And then over here, this, it looks like this spins too. A little tea time area. Uh, spinning rooftop, spinning rooftop tea party. Okay, and then here's her throne area, her throne room. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, welcome to a land of royal trends where happiness never ends. The little shoppies have become royal princesses. Help your little shoppy princess prepare for the party of the year at the royal castle. Choose the perfect outfit from the spinning wardrobe. Pop it on and check out in front of the mirror. Then flip down the mirror for a glitterific party space and get the party started. Set up your petkins accessories and get your royal style on for a night to remember. There are so many royal faces to make more happy places. And here is our Gemma Stone, Gemma Stone ball gown, chandelier, table, throne, and then, of course, the Royal Castle. So it looks like we only have three Petkins that come with this. That's not a lot. But um, we will go ahead and get this opened up. And start adding our shoppies. And I don't know. Well, let's just get this open. Okay, guys. So I got everything out of the box. So our castle, just like all the other uh, Happy Places homes and buildings, is a little bit... Uh, is a little bit smaller, a lot smaller actually, than what you would see on the box. The box is usually a lot bigger. I'm okay with that for one, maybe a multiple reasons, but the number one reason being that it protects it from uh, getting damaged, I, I, I hope. <laughs> so, let's, let's actually check out this place. Now, should we check it out first and then check out our accessories? Yes. So, we have this um, chandelier here, which is actually technically part of our accessories, but it goes right in here, I think. It hooks right in here. It goes in there just like that. 
and it, it, it dangles, you know. It's just gold, and it's it's got candles in it, but it doesn't have really any kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Any kind of other detail paint on it. But um, when we spin it, it spins. So we got a spinning chandelier there on this first floor. And we have a gold carpet here. And we have some gold ribbons on the side here that are holding up these fake um, curtains. And we got an open window here, open windows here, so we're getting a lot of light in here. Our floor, we got two different textures though. We got one texture over here with a bunch of stars on it. Stars on a gem for a gem of stone, probably. And then uh, crisscross over here. But they're both the same color, they're both that purple color. Um, also, there's a little thing here. Let's see if I can get it to work here. All my mess. It's this really cool thing here. Check that out. It's got gem of stone in it, but it's um like a it's almost like a a snow globe with glitter that kind of comes down and rains. But um, as you guys saw before, because you were just staring at my hand probably in the mirror, it's an actual mirror that goes up to the top of the second floor, which leads us to the second floor of this um castle. You have this mirror that's a real mirror with um, frosted blue gemstones that kind of go all around the Mara. And then you have the gold painted ribbon that kind of goes down the side here. We also have a faux glass display case over here that when you spin it, the top part here, it spins it. This is, I think, where our dresses are going to be displayed, so we're going to check that out in a little bit here. On top of that, we have this metallic pink crown that uh, also has a little base in here where you can put one of the shoppies. And when this spins, when you spin this, it's, it spins her around so it's sort of like a 360 display for that one shoppie. Uh, over here, I don't know what the heck's going on with this. This is supposed to spin. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's a spinning... Um, Oh, it doesn't spin all the way around. It just goes like this. Okay. Actually, I prefer it to be this way, I think. So. Uh, it's a half crown, I guess. Or a tiara. Yeah, it's more of a tiara. And then the back of it has that blue ice look. And if you look a little bit closer, it's got a bench here. And I don't know what these are supposed to be, but uh, the, the paint details kind of lack in there. But that's okay. And I think, actually, this table pops in. Somehow. Or maybe it just goes there. I don't think it actually pops in. But uh, that brings us to our other accessories besides the chandelier. So we have this tea table here that's got one cup on it. And now they're all molded on. Which is a little bit different for the Happy Places uh, kind of flow here. Usually that cup, there would be another cup that would be separate. And then maybe the plate might have a separate cookie. But we got a couple of chocolate cookies on a plate. And then a teacup that's uh, the same color, a pink, on the bottom of it as the table is. Uh, the table has some gold trim around the edges. And then it's also set on a base that's got a crown on it with a gem that's done in purple. That can just go right here. And then we also have our throne here that's going to go in the throne room. Uh, probably, I don't know, somewhere. I don't know if it's going to go here, maybe. But, uh, this throne is purple-based. You can see a lot of detail work on it. A lot of stones. A lot of diamonds. Um. And the pink, it's going to pink back. And then we have gold. A gold crown. Two gold crowns inside the, uh, the arms. And then we turn it around, and you can see the little tail. Not much to see in the back. But I think we're either going to put this here. Probably going to put that right there. That'll be your throne room. So uh, now it, that brings us to Gemma Stone herself. Oh my goodness, guys. She is so beautiful. She has this whole diamond frosted look. So her hair is like a silvery white, pretty much. And you can see in the back that she has a braid that kind of goes around. Ties in a diamond. It's a little shorter than the rest of her hair. And the rest of her hair is straight down. 
She has bangs, and then she has a little bit of a long bangs on the side here. Her crown is metallic purple with metallic, pur metallic purple beads that go around the bottom of it. She also has this big honking gem on the top that is translucent blue. Like I said, that ice blue. She also has an ice blue dress that has different tones on it. Um, some light metallic teal and some metallic purple that goes around it. And it's translucent at the edges. She's not wearing any tights. She has some really awesome shoes here and the metallic purple that matches her belt and her crown. If you look really close at her eyes, her eyes are that frosted blue, and then inside of her pupils, let's see if that, I can get this to focus on her eyes, she has a diamond in each one. She has purple metallic lips, and she also has a diamond tattoo on her cheek. She's a very, very pale white. She has the same articulation as all the other shoppies do. Her dress does come off. She has a metallic bathing suit on, underneath that's done in teal. Now, the difference between her and the other um, the other little shoppies from this line is that her skirt doesn't pop on. Sorry. Her, her skirt doesn't pop on like the rest of them. She has an actual dress that replaces the skirt. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this because it doesn't pop under. It pop, You have to pop that off. Take this off to put it on. So... I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more maintenance than just the easy pop-on, but we're going to check that out, so I will be right back. Okay, so I accidentally lied. It was not very... It actually took me maybe a second and a half to switch this dress to this dress. So um, they come off pretty easy. Kind of almost like a... Dare I compare them to LOL dresses, but it actually is easier than that. So bravo, Moose. Again. <laughs> so, uh, the purple that's on this evening gown matches the purple on her crown, so it definitely flows right. She has a little blue diamond and a little, like, faux fur going on for her top. And then she has a big diamond right here that's done in that blue as well. And then she has a lot of different designs that's going on in her skirt. There's another diamond in the back done in that purple. And the skirt itself is very translucent, almost like glass. Very awesome. So, let's get on to check out um, how to display our dresses, and um, and we'll get a little bit of furniture put in here. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. <laughs> I'll show you. I got Armanda up on the top here because I figured she was the perfect shoppy to put up here. Because she is, by day, a knight, and by night, a princess. Princess Armanda should be the one that's kind of in the lookout tower. So I thought, perfect for her. Then I took uh, Cupcake Queenie and Princess Flossy, or Princess Glossy, and put them in the tea party room with a couple of the uh, little little pets. We have our ele one of our elephants here and one of our little horses. Also, we got down here Princess Pretty Pressy uh, with another one of our little pets. Hanging out with uh, all of our skirts, which we had displayed. I couldn't figure out how to keep them on at first, but I'll, I'll just show you real quick. Right behind it, the way that kind of works is got that little piece of plastic, that kind of tab there. You stretch the shirt, skirt over it or slip it over it. And it just and it keeps it there. So you, you can display up to six. I filled it up, so I got all six on there. And, uh, yeah, apparently... This little birdie's in the way. There we go. So. So pretty cool. Pretty cool, guys. Alright. And then over here, we have our um, our moon bunny bedroom that was I was able to set up in a weird, bizarre way. Um, it doesn't... You have to kind of... <laughs> you kind of have to play a little bit of Tetris to get the, the uh, bed to fit in there. But I did get it to fit in. And then I dropped down Mara down to the bottom and made it more of that snow globe down the bottom. So I could put the chair here. Uh, we have another pekin. Uh, pekin. We have another little pet hanging out here in the chair, the little, one of the little lambs. So that's a thing. And then our first level, we have our, um, our candy bar over here that's being run by Princess Katie Pops. And she's doing her thing here. 
with the uh, spinning chandelier. And over here, the Prince Prince Rowan came over here to meet uh, Princess Gemma Stone. And we also have a couple more of our little pets hanging out here. Unfortunately, I have two. I have the uh, the party shop uh, or the party um, the, the DJ party thing I couldn't display. And uh, there's also a makeup room that I also couldn't display. There is absolutely no room here. I packed it as packed as tight as I could um, with everything in here. So uh, the space is limited. Uh, you could switch them out. I guess most people probably aren't going to get every single set like I did. <laughs> I don't know. But um, it, I guess it's worth maybe getting another castle and kind of filling it with the rest of the furniture. But I'm going to sit on that because they're, they've done in the past, they've come out with two different versions of things. So maybe possibly, don't quote me on this because I could be lying. Maybe Moose Toys will come out with another castle in a different color variation with maybe an exclusive... Another exclusive, maybe? I don't know. If not, um, you know, it's good to... Ma you can mix and match. You can uh, turn... Uh, see, this part's not going to come out. So this part takes up its own space. That, so you're going to always have that closet there. Um, but you can always take this out, uh, make that into the party room, you know, take the throne out, and put that something in there. So, But I did what I could with it. Um, I'm pretty happy with how mine came out. Um, so, yeah, this is basically the grand finale of the... Uh, Shopkins Happy Places Royal Trends. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to check out the rest of the series, I do um, a more of a detailed um, review on the other shoppies that are involved in this. Go ahead, uh, check out my other videos. And uh, comment below, uh, do you like these sets? Do you have these sets? Are you looking for these sets? Uh, yeah, we love to hear from you. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.